हे गाइस आई एम शांत एंड वेलकम टू साइबर नाइटिको सो इन दिस वीडियो लेट्स लर्न अबाउट रिएक्ट फॉर्म्स और फॉर्म्स इन रिएक्ट हेयर आई फोर इनपुट फील्ड्स फ्रॉम नेम टू एज नेम एज हॉबीज एंड डेट एंड वन एम टी एर फंक्शन फर्स्ट लेट्स गेट डेटा फ्रॉम द फॉर्म इनपुट्स दिस इज द फर्स्ट स्टेप सो विल यूज एन इवेंट कॉल ऑन चेंज इवेंट दैट विल रन वेन द इनपुट फील्ड वैल्यू चेंजेस और वी टाइप एनी थिंग इन द इनपुट फील्ड keep that in mind so we will use this get input function in the on change event this will pass an event argument here in the function then we can simply console this thing this event so open the console let me type my name in the name field called nishant see we are getting all this data here all the data most of which we don't need so to fix this or to like yes fix this we can only send the data we need directly so let's say event we can send let's say we want the value that we type lot which is target dot value value we can do this here let me make the event to value and here as well now we will only get the data that we are typing the text so we can add nishant here and we will get that so let me repeat this all over the first step is done i mean the first lesson for forms now what can we do is let me so let i we added the on change event here let me also add the name property so we each of the input fields will have a name so let's say this will be a name this should be the age this should be age age sorry not age let's say name this should be hobbies and this should be uh date so all of these now have a name as you can see fine let me also pass the name this will be event dot target dot name like this so let me pass them all over so this name is also important i will show you why see now we have the name basically we are passing two values here okay we are passing two values like value and the name so we have to receive two values so name if we console the name here let's say what we get refresh the page we can say name as nishant and if we type if we typing in the name field this field we will get the corresponding name if it is age we will get the age is we are getting and same for hobbies and date so let me make okay fine now let me show you the types of the input fields we will can have the type prop and we can add text for the alphabeticals like nishant or like if you want text here simply numbers and text i mean numbers and alphabets for the age this could this should only be a number so we can add the type as type as equal to mm, number like this for the hobbies so now this is a number and refresh the page see we cannot type alphabets here we can only type a number like this fine so for third one we can also add the text as same as the name because this should be a text as well but for the fourth one we can add the date type so we have so many types like input date color so let me show you let me add or let me just make this type as input this now will be a file upload thing it type is okay not input file file yes this should be a file upload thing so revert it back and let, let me remove this why so we have four fields and all of them have the type and the name with the on change events so now 
let me console the value so console dot log the name and value small value i mean value open the console or let me do it like this so make sure we have name colon and the value wrap it in a array like thing then it will not work okay 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 hmm. let me wrap it in an object like this then this should be an array like that like, like this so we will have the name paired with the value like a uh, key value pairs so this name will be the key that we will store and the value will be the value that we will have so refresh let me add my name nishant and see the name is the key and this nishant is the value see fine now let me store them in an array sorry not an array let me store them in a object so if you want to show all the values or store the values in a state you can create multiple states for us we will have four states for name age hobbies and date but i will show you how to do it using only one state an object state you can because for example if you create four states then you have to assign all the four state and set state in all the on change events which will be lengthy so let me introduce you to a new method so we can say const let me create a state an object state so let's say obj data and set obj data in camel case so use state this will be an object just like this so we are we will we will be keep storing all the data in an object yes wait what happened okay yes we'll keep storing all the object properties in the set object in the object data state so we have to store this in an variable first so let's say let data equal to just copy this whole thing cut and paste remove this now this data will contain our data like this so for example if we console the data here clg console.log data let's see what we get refresh let me add the name called nishant we are getting the name and the value like well uh, sorry we are getting the key name and the value nishant here line number eight if we type the age 26 we will get the age only like this we are not getting the name anymore because it has been overridden by the age so we have to store this data in this set in this object data state so we can do small bracket then curly bracket then we will have to merge them so for example let's say we are storing this data here using using spread operator like this now we can console data the data outside like this now let's see what we get it refresh the page so let me explain once more what i'm doing here we are merging the data using key value pairs in the data variable let data then we are storing the data as object in the set object set in the object data state i mean then we are consoling it here let me add my name called nishant so it's here see so it's getting stored in the object data state successfully if we add the age the previous data will be overridden like this we don't see the name anymore but we have the name in the input as well so to solve this we will have to add the data and then merge with the previous data so name will be the previous data so we will merge it using like this triple dots then object data we will merge the both objects so the previous data now is called nishant and the new data is called this let me start from the beginning let me add the new data which is nishant and it's here in the console and the state of object data obj data now let's say we want to add the age now this nishant is now the previous data and the age is now the new data let me add the age 26 and see they have been both merged together the previous data and the new data now this both 
properties like age and name they are the old data previous data and if you write the hobbies this will be the new data so we can say let's say hobbies is creating videos like this so now this is the old data like this is the old state now and if we add the date here this will be the new state so all these three fields are in the old state and this one it will be the new state let me choose some date here 20 now we have the data as well and all these four are now in the old data which is object data so that's how it works that how we can minimize the code so what can we do now so see let's try to submit the form or let me yes so we can they we can create a function called const submit so we can use the submit function in two ways let's say you want to submit data and show in in the console or send the data to an api so we can say console.log this object data we have a button here that can run the function on click event using on click event so we can say on click submit button submit function now let me try from the start write the name nishant age 26 hobbies let's say recording videos and the date from today's date click submit the data will be here in the console line number 13 here another method is not using this submit uh, on not using this on click event we can use on submit on a form tag here so wrap all the inputs in a form tag like this this will also work so make the button inside as well so now all of these inputs will be inside this form or what we can do we can add the form outside the div because the design is breaking so let's check So let's check if it is working or not. Yes, it's working. So now in the form, we have to use on submit fun event on submit. And let me assign submit function here. But still now it will not work because this button has to be a submit type. So type should be submit. So if you open the console now, let me type the name, age, hobbies and the date. Now click submit and see. If you submit, it's coming here, but instantly it's getting disappeared. So here what we have to do is we have to do a thing. So let's say we have to send the, okay. So we have to do this. So this should contain an event param or e then you can do event dot prevent diff prevent default to prevent the default function here so now click or just add the name the age hobbies and the date now click submit it's here now it's not getting refreshed automatically if we just comment this and now click submit the form will be refreshed see that we don't want fine all right so we can add one more button here that can be used to reset the form let me also show you that reset and the button type will be reset if we click the button of reset the whole form will be reset add the name the age hobbies and some date now click submit it's here now let me click the reset button see all the data has now been reset so that was how to use react form or forms in react